Hi, I'm Kathy Quick. I teach calculus at Summit High School, AP Calculus. And this is, I don't even know, maybe my seventh, eighth year of teaching calculus this year. I know that a lot of you have questions. In the past AP nights, I've been, I've answered many, many questions. So I've kind of come up with a list of questions that you might have about calculus. Let's get started. What is AP Calculus like? AP Calculus is completely different from any other math class that you've taken so far because it's topics that you've never seen before. Whereas Algebra 1, Algebra 2, pre they just get progressively harder. Pre or KP, AP Calculus is nothing like that. You'll be seeing new material, new concepts, and new applications. How well should I know my pre-calc? Pre-calculus and knowing your, your algebra skills, having your algebra skills dialed is so important for this class. If your algebra skills are a little rusty, you're going to struggle a little bit. So being comfortable with your algebra from pre-calculus is pretty important. Who should take calculus? I think anybody that's interested in math, anybody that even, I think you should take calculus. I think that a lot of universities require calculus and for business, for engineering. If you're going to go into any kind of the mathematical arena, calculus is a class you're going to have to take. What if I'm taking other AP courses and how much homework should I expect? That's a hard question to answer. It's going to depend on the student. If you're taking a lot of AP classes, then this is going to be one more on top of it, and yes, you get homework every night. How much homework should you expect? It really depends on the person. Uh, what my expectation is, it'll take you somewhere between 30 to 45 minutes at the most. There are some students where it takes them hours. That's their way of solving homework. Some students, it takes them less than a half an hour. I don't assign a lot of homework, and a lot of the homework that I do assign is fairly open-ended, so you can, um, you know, you can do parts of it if you want to. You can do as much or as little as you want. So it, it really depends on the person. I cannot answer that question in general. Should I take A, B, or B, C? That is a good question. A, B calculus is the first probably 60% of our book chapters 1 through 6 and a little bit of chapter 7. Um, it's definitely a slower pace. We take two days to cover one section, whereas in BC Calculus we cover a majority of the book, almost all of it. And there are many days where we'll do one section every day, kind of like pre-calculus day. And then when it gets harder, I slow things down. I kind of go by the how the class works. On on the College Board website, there's a great thing, I don't even know what to call it, there's a great search engine. You can type in the university that you're interested in, and they'll tell you what kind of credit you'll get. If you take the A-B exam, that you'll get a score and it'll tell you which colleges will take which score and how much credit you will receive. It'll also tell you if you get a B-C credit, then how much will you get in college credit that way. If you take the BC exam, you get an AB score and a BC score. So you can kind of look at that score and determine from your university, is it going to be worth it for you to take the BC class or would AB be enough? I'm going to have the website for you. I'll have that on, on below my face or on the next slide or something. And that website is where you can just kind of play around, put in some information, see what your college will accept and you can kind of decide from there. BC is definitely a little bit harder. You, you need to be in it to win it. You have to be able to commit to doing some homework, commit to practice, commit to getting some help, extra help if you need it, but it's not bad. What can I do to be prepared for next fall? I would recommend checking out the calculus book for the summertime and look at uh, chapter P. The chapter P is just a review of pre-calculus. Just kind of look over it, make sure your algebra is pretty solid, but most important, know your unit circle. And then last question, can you explain what's on the board behind you? <laughs> Today is March 14th, 3.14, pi day, the square root of negative one, i, two to the third power, eight. This is summation, sum, 
pie. I ate some pie. 